What's going on guys, Waco from Revolution here, uh, here in the Revolution Watch Bar. This is Starry Night behind me. I'm with Cousin Kwong, Jeremiah Chan, and we're here to introduce the latest Grill Watch, and it is a collaboration with Stefan Kadoki, and it is a K2 Starry Night. And this is the unboxing video. But first, gentlemen, how are you? I'm good. Thank you, Wei. Very good, Wei. Can't wait to, to unbox this new watch. Yeah, it's, okay, so there's a lot of anticipation for this watch. Um, Stephen Kadoki is just, he's an incredibly cool guy, one of my favorite young independent watchmakers. He's based in Waifa, which is a town in, um, just outside of Dresden, I think right? Just yeah. outside Dresden. Exactly. Uh, Stephen is, you know, been working in independent watchmaking for a while. He got his start um, actually in Glacier 2 Original, where he was on the prototyping team of the Panograph, right? Which is one of my favorite chronograph and it has this very special kind of sector style three level minute counter, right? And actually that watch inspired a little bit the K3. Yes, that we, just we saw, saw it, it yeah, this year. Yeah. MCI this year. Exactly. So cool. Uh, in uh, 2019, um, Stephen launched the K1 and K2, which are his version of like neoclassical watchmaking, right? The size was 39 mm in terms of diameter, and the K1 was a small seconds watch with mm -hmm. a small second indicator at nine o'clock, yep. and the K2 was an incredibly beautiful watch, which had at 12 o'clock a reading for time in the 24 hour display, mm -hmm. and also had a very beautiful hand engraved day and night indicator. Yep. Right? It's beautiful, yeah. I mean, in incidentally, uh, the K2 is actually my favorite of all Kudoki's uh, oh, watches. Okay. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm very excited. Okay. <laughs> So let's go into the unboxing because, ado. in fact, it is a K2. Ah, fantastic. All right. And here is our watch. It wow. is the Kudoki Stunning. K2 Starry Night. Right? Yeah. Uh, see the blue theme already. <laughs> exactly. So as you may have uh, realized already, it's, it's inspired by Vincent Van Gogh's famous painting, Starry Night, mm, which yeah. is exactly oh. the painting they painted when he was in. in the this theater. is really beautiful, stunning, really. Then on top of that, it's built up with many layers of like translucent blue um, lacquer, which gives it this very sort of um, three-dimensional feel, and it's almost kind of a feel of a flonke enamel dial, right? Yeah. Mm. Um, but at a much more accessible price. Point. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> um, but then the cool thing about this watch also is that he decided to make the hour, minute indicators, and also the chapter ring, and also the 24-hour ring, yeah. and also the stars and the moon, Luminous. Oh my wow. god. So we don't actually have a we luminous torch. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm going to get one. We've got to see this loom shot. And Jeremiah, I want to give you the honors. Okay. All right, guys, I'll hold up to the camera here. You can see it's actually two different colors, right? The chapter ring for the day night indicator is in a, in a different color. I think it's kind of like a greenish blue. Yeah. While the rest are in blue. Like wow. a light blue, actually. Exactly. And look at the look at the uh, crescent moon and the stars, as you were saying, way. Yeah. So everything that's related to the twenty-four hour indicator, including the crescent moon and the stars, is in the sort of vibrant blue. Yeah. And then the time indicator, which is told on the chapter ring and the hour minute hand, is actually in this beautiful green. Right. And actually, both of those colors appear in the painting. And this is um, Stefan's idea as well. Wow. Oh, really? Right? Wow. That's yeah. really cool. That was really cool. Then, of course, uh, we were discussing what kind of case we'd like to use. Mm. And, you know, I have a punch out for titanium. Mm. So he said, well, these are a grade five titanium case. And then we actually decided to go all the way and make this case blue colored using yeah. a CBD coating yeah. by a positive coating in Le Chaux de Fond, which is a family run company. Now, the cool thing about CBD is that you can take the grade five titanium, mirror polish and brush it, and then apply this coating to it. And you see the finishing because the coating is like translucent, which yeah. is really cool as well. I think CBD just gives it such a, a strong luster, you know, in the polished parts of the, of the case and the brushing on the side just give that contrast as well. Yeah, you know, what I think was remarkable about Stefan is that he took the whole idea of like this incredible amount of hand finishing and brought it to a really accessible price point actually. So, you know, Jeremiah, tell us a little bit about the movement in this watch. So the movement, uh, you know, um, that Stefan uh, calls it is, is the caliber one, right? Mm. But it's uh, developed in partnership with Richard Harbring, who first developed the A11 based on the venerable tried and tested Valju 7750. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, Richard's uh, version of the movement is a bit more industrial style finishing mm. with an exposed, I believe the third wheel. It's kind of exposed on the bridge, but yep. this one you can see has like the three quarter style plate that is so indicative of German watchmaking, yep. right? And look at the frosted bridges. That also has, you know, design codes from a different type of finishing, a different uh, you know, a different style, the more English style, which I believe Stefan was uh, inspired by, 
the old uh, vintage English pocket watches. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the amount of handwork that goes into this finishing is incredible. You basically take like small granules, which are glass or stone, mm -hmm. and you um, put it in oil, and then you put the base plate on top of it. And then you have to exert exactly the right amount of pressure mm -hmm. and the right, right sort of like surface treatment to it. You have to exert exactly the right amount of pressure and t like kind of push it in exactly the same direction with consistency, kind of like uh, Daniel son in, 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 in The Karate Kid. Oh, the, yeah. Like, <laughs> wax on, wax on. Wax on. Wax. And, and any um, additional pressure or any like sort of the, the wrong um, uh, movement will cause a deformation to that, that mm. surface treatment. So then you see that on top of it, it's complemented by these beautiful handmade angles as well. Uh, the angolage is beautiful on here. It's all circular, so there's no internal mm. angles, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's incredibly well done. And then on top of that, you have this stunning hand great balance cock as well, which kind of like emerges from the, the two barrels. Uh, it is hand engraved and also has like high polished edges as well. And it is beautiful to behold. It is really beautiful. I, I like the base plate, you know, the sort of like a frosted finishing, kind of an like English style finishing yeah, together exactly. with the beautiful design decorated balance. You know, it's, it creates such a contrast that you can't take your eyes away. You know, and um, you know, this is the K1-24. I think it's mm -hmm. the the caliber for the day and night. Yes, 24, uh, 24 hours. Yeah, 24 day. hours indicator, right? So um, it's, 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 it's a really beautiful watch. You know, we have a beautiful movement. And of course, you know, my favorite part of the watch, you know, I, I'm a big fan of this watch. Okay, yeah, it goes without saying. Um, I, I really love the hand engraved um, uh, day night indicator, you yeah. know, and it's... Uh, I believe the sun is gold plated. Yes, I mean, the, the sun day, is gold plated, the day yes. Part and the night part is a rhodium plated. Yes, that's correct, yeah. Um, so it's all hand engraved um, no, or hand, handmade and uh, I like the colors um, and now you have this beautiful dial yeah. with this um, you know this um, yeah. I like the the pattern of the guilche you know it, it just elevates the whole watch I feel and it's just a beautiful watch yeah I think that it's, it's really nice to have a watch that so at this price point which is, I believe is just over 13,000 Swiss francs or no euro at the price yeah. point of just over 13,000 euro you're looking at a watch that has so much hand um, decoration applied to it. We talked about the movement, we talked about the hand engraving that's used in the day and night indicator. Mm -hmm. What actually is really interesting is by making this watch luminous, we also necessitated the use of, of hand applied Luminova as well, yeah. which is painstakingly painted to every one of the 30 pieces in this collection. Um, Only 30? Yeah. You <laughs> couldn't do more. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, as this. you can imagine, um, the, you know, Stefan Kadoki right now has an overwhelming uh, demand for his watches. Yeah. yeah. And we're lucky enough to get these 30 pieces, and we're very grateful. So, Stefan Kudoki and Eve Kudoki, thank you so much for this partnership. We love the watch. Thank you, this Stefan. This is the Kudoki K2 Starry Night, the latest offer from Grail Watch. Thanks, guys. Guys, I'm gonna love this watch. Cheers.